Hey y'all, Tanny Cooks here, and today I'm gonna show you how to make some absolutely delicious meatballs from scratch with only three ingredients, and it is low carb, and we're gonna make it in the air fryer, so let's get to cooking. The three ingredients we're going to be using are our meat, Parmesan cheese, and seasoning. So we are using ground chuck that is 80% lean, 20% fat. You want just about a pound. It's okay if it's just a above or below a pound. And we're also using a pound of turkey sausage. So this is not plain ground turkey, this is turkey sausage. So it has a higher fat content and that's what's going to allow these meatballs to be so juicy and so tender. We wanna cook this to an internal temp of at least 165 degrees. So those are our two meats, turkey sausage and ground beef. Secondly, we're using grated Parmesan cheese, not the fresh Parmesan and our seasonings. Now, I have multiple seasonings because that's just how I am, but you can use the seasonings of your choice, but for this, to make these buffalo meatballs, I'm using this buffalo sauce. It has one fat gram and it is low carb as well with one gram of carbs. This is Moore's brand. It is super hot and super delicious. So let's go ahead and get started. What we're gonna do is very simple. We're going to open our meat and put it in our bowl. Using my kitchen shears, I'm gonna open up my turkey sausage. This combination of meat really is delicious and flavorful. And using a pound of beef and a pound of turkey sausage will render us just about 24 meatballs in our air fryer, which is perfect. So for this recipe, I am using my quarter cup measuring cup to measure my Parmesan cheese, but I'm going to use a total of three fourths cup of Parmesan cheese. So just about three scoops. This is going to be the perfect binder, so we will not need to use any egg or any breadcrumbs, and that's what's going to help this meatball to be low carb as well because we're not using the breadcrumbs. Now, it's time to add our seasonings, and you can add the seasonings of your choice. I'm adding some black pepper, also onion powder, and then I'll be adding garlic powder as well. It's about time for me to restock up on these big containers of these seasonings as well. And now I'm also going to use some of this hickory smoked salt. I have a link to it in the description box. I ordered this from Amazon. It is super delicious. I'm just putting a pinch of salt now. And remember, you can always add salt later after you taste your recipe. Next up is to give your meat a mix with the Parmesan cheese and the seasonings. I am the only person eating these meatballs, so that's why I didn't put on a glove because the food is just for me. So you wanna mix until it looks fully incorporated so that each meatball that we make has an equal amount of seasoning and Parmesan. And so since I am being super basic, I'm just using a paper plate to hold my meatballs as I roll them. So just grab a portion of meat and then make a ball with both hands until it's about even. You can make your meatballs any size you want. They could be super small or super big, but that will impact the cook time, the size of the meatball. So keep that in mind as you put these in your air fryer. I am making nice fork size meatballs. And so from these two pounds of meat, one pound of chuck and one pound of turkey sausage, I'm going to get about 24 meatballs, which is the perfect size for me. So I have all of my meatballs formed and I did decide to try out a new seasoning that I had just bought. It's Badia Everything Mushroom Seasoning, which was very delicious and I will use again. It has a little bit of sodium in it, but no added fat, no added carbs, no added calories. So we are making these in our air fryer because this is a high fat meat, sausage and beef, I didn't spray my air fryer. And I'm putting in about 12 meatballs in the first batch and then I'll cook the other half in a second batch. And so to cook these meatballs in my air fryer, I found the best temperature to be 370 degrees for about 18 minutes. So you can see that's what I have it set to here. You can barely see it, but this is the time that works best for me. About halfway through of whatever you're cooking in your air fryer, you want to open it up and check. So I'm giving my meatballs a shake to make sure I get that beautiful color all around the meatballs. And look at that. After my 18 minutes, I have these absolutely gorgeous and delicious meatballs of beef and turkey sausage. Now you can eat them just like this. You can add marinara sauce or any other variety of sauce, but I wanted buffalo meatballs for a special, unique 
kick. So this Morris Buffalo sauce definitely has the kick I was looking for and look at that y'all. It was so delicious and this sauce is perfect if you are on a low carb diet. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.